Superintendent Dr. Todd Kaysen says even more students, faculty and staff members were added to their list Wednesday. He's now estimating about 400 under quarantine. Traditional classrooms bearing more and more empty seats week after week as contact tracing continues reaching new Valdosta City School students. 100% of the time is happening outside of school. But out of an abundance of caution, Dr. Kaysen makes the switch to online learning for all students at all schools. I felt that for us at this time, this decision was best for our boys and girls and our teachers and our staff. If I have to stay home and telework, we'll just make arrangements. It comes as a surprise to several parents, like Maggie Valentin, whose kids have been attending Salas Mahone Elementary in person since their first day. We'll figure it out and we'll get through it. Your child can always become educated and learning actually should always begin at home first anyway. Joyce Williams was a kindergarten paraprofessional with the school system for 13 years. She says she resigned in March due to COVID. I didn't feel safe at all and I knew there was always another alternative that the school system could go which was virtual. That plan of safety now in place beginning Monday. Dr. Kaysen says they plan to thoroughly disinfect all schools while students are gone. He says he's also instructed all of his faculty and staff members to be ready to pivot at a moment's notice during this unprecedented time. Reporting in Valdosta, Amber Spradley, WCTV Eyewitness News. The school board says students will be dismissed early this Friday. They'll begin their digital classes on Monday. Winter break begins a week from Friday.